Polly. What is it, Polly? The principal sent it. My father hasn't paid the fees. Rita, it's Mark. Yes? Listen to me, Rita. I am sorry. I'm really sorry about what happened. I need your help now. Can I see you? I won't talk to you about what the policeman did. Rita. Rita. Mark, you all right? Fine. Time to go home now. Yeah. How about a drink? Okay, let's go. Excuse me, Uncle. I thought you'd tell me to get lost. I needed a drink. Yeah. Robert is a... Uh, shouldn't be a policeman. I get so angry. <sighs> drink up. Yeah, in a minute. Don't have to worry. I won't jump on you. I don't do that. You don't have to. I suppose you'll stop speaking to me at work. What? That's what happens. You wish it hadn't happened? Okay. It hasn't. I'm not telling anyone. I think I'd better go. I like you. As a friend. Very much. Thanks for that. It was a good evening. Yeah. And I'm no longer married, so no one gets hurt. Okay, Mark. 
Bye. I'm so glad I found you. Dad said you work for the minister. I've got the problem. Can you help me? She's always running off somewhere. There's a trouble with having family, doing jobs for you. They think they can do whatever they want. Yes, ma'am. Who was that, Rose? A cousin sister, uh, mom's family. What did she want? My uncle can't pay his school fees anymore. Well, you should try and find the money. Young people need education today. I was thinking, um, maybe... Gordon, I've got to go. I'm meeting Jennifer this morning. Haven't seen her for years. Auntie, I want to ask if, uh, can I have an advance to pay the fees? You got an advance last week, Rose. When is this going to end? <laughs> Good morning, Edward. How are you? Good morning. What's up? Nothing. Good morning. How are you? Still waiting for a report? I'll get it now. It's a nice big one. You can stick it in your file. Check the spelling and grammar, Robert. The commissioner likes to understand what you're writing about. I hate to think of young girls being thrown out of school, Rose. I want to help you because um, I like you. I like you very much, Rose. Look, um, if you take the uh, money, you'll have to take this too. Yeah? Yes. Tell him to wait. I'll be there right away. Don't worry, Pauline. I'll have to leave if she can't give me the money. She'll help you, Pauline. I know she will. Come on, Marilyn. What do you expect? Everyone saw you living together. That doesn't mean... Oh, yeah? How many men in the station have affairs? Spend most nights in bars, never go home, and I leave the station with Mark. Then everyone starts talking. Well, it's different for women. Why? Women have to keep a standard. Their wives and mothers. Why are you saying this to me and not to Mark or Robert? Robert sexually assaulted the woman he arrested. You know what people are like. You know how they think. Some things are not worth doing, Marilyn. Look, you're giving Robert a new way to hurt you. Uh oh, here we go. You want to talk to him? And how can I help you, sir? Someone stole a radio out of my car. Hello? You, um... Maureen's daughter. Yes. Your mother asked me to talk to you, Elizabeth. I'm the pastor. Can we sit down? If 
you don't want to talk. No, it's all right. She wants me to go back to my husband, but I won't. You made your vows in church. Does that mean I have to stay whatever it does? What if he beats me? We are made to suffer, Elizabeth. Life isn't meant to be easy. It isn't easy to live. You're hurting your mother a lot. She's on her own now. Pastor, I know you want to help me, but you don't know what it's like to be married when you don't know. What about a child? A child needs a father to teach him. I'm going to look after my baby. 